Well, I think that we also have to talk about the narrative and, and making sure we're starting at the beginning. You will find that uh, the people doing the oppressing often want to start the narrative at a convenient at a convenient point. We always want to start the story in the middle. This started with a kid getting shot and killed and left in the street for four hours. I've never seen a white body left in the street for four hours in the sweltering heat. I've never, it would, you know, the cop doesn't call, um, doesn't call in the shooting. The body isn't put in an ambulance. It's shuttled away in some shady, unmarked SUV. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of bizarre behavior going on, and that is the story. That's where we need journalism. That's where we need um, that element uh, of our society to kick into gear and not just keep playing a loop that gets discovered of, some, uh, of what the kid may have uh, done or, or, or did, apparently, in a convenience store. That's unfortunate. That, that, you know, if that happened, we're, that's going to be factored in, like it or not. But we need journalism to kick in and start telling the story from the beginning. This is about a finding justice for a kid that was shot, an 18-year-old that was shot, period. And this idea that he, because, because he stole a handful of cheap cigars, what's that, what, five bucks from a convenience store? I lived in, I lived in the white suburb, suburbs of this country for a long time. I know plenty of white kids that steal stuff from this convenience store. There's plenty of the, this idea that every time a black person does something, they automatically become a thug worthy of de their own death. When it's that we don't, we don't own drug right. crimes. We're not the only ones that sell and do drugs all the time. Right? We're not the only ones that steal. We're not the only ones that talk crazy to cops. You know, there's a whole, there's a complete double standard and a complete different experience that a certain element of this country gets, right. has the privilege of being treated like human beings. And, other, and, and the rest of us do, are not treated like human beings, period. And that needs to be discussed. That is the story. All right, so that's what made it gets very frustrating, I think, for people because right. you don't know five black folks, black, five black men in particular, that have not been harassed and felt threatened by police officers. Right. You can't throw a rock and find five of them. Yeah.